Right, at the end of the season, about 26 weeks from now, I'm going to look at Shady and say, you got it right or you got it wrong. I'm going to look at Shady and say, you got it right or you got it wrong. Ooh. Who's going to win the MVP? And then we're going to get to your Super Bowl predictions. But Shady, just start with who's going to win the MVP. And Chase is new to the show, but so you know. I win every year on the picks, right? And we win pick year. all the winners. You okay, well, okay. sign the challenge. You won the first year. First year, I... First year oh, won. yeah, okay, this guy's <laughs> You won one anyway. Anyway, uh, good, MVP, I'm going with Patrick Mahomes. Three three P. He's that good, he's that strong. His team got better, better wide receivers, more speed. What's the second one? Super Bowl. MVP right now, MVP yeah. right okay. now. Just okay, because right I'm ready, I'm ready to roll. Chase, where you at with it? Who going to win MVP? We just talked about him, man. C.J. Stroud. Stroud joined Tom Ooh. Brady and Joe Montana as the only quarterbacks to lead the NFL in both passing yards per game mm -hmm. and touchdown interception radio ratio in the same season. Tom Brady, Joe Montana in the same breath as C.J. Stroud. And then you go out and you get Joe Mixon at running back. You get Stephon Diggs. You got Nico Collins, Tank Dell. I mean, it just is like setting up for a season for C.J. Yeah. Stroud. We keep talking about all them boys' weapons, uh, Patty Mahomes, uh, Joe Burrow, all these dudes' weapons. You know who ain't got no weapons? You call him the franchise? Josh Allen, man. The franchise! Josh Allen is outnumbered completely by everybody. <laughs> In the division, outside the division, he has no weapons, at least that we know of yet. Keon Coleman, he could turn into be something, but he ain't going to turn into nothing mm -hmm. if Josh Allen is not special. If Josh Ooh. Allen has this team with a winning record, I don't care what anybody's stats are, you take this trophy of the MVP to Josh Allen. I'm curious about how y'all feel about this one. Uh oh, don't say something. No, nah, not crazy, okay. not crazy. I got to convince y'all. Baker Mayfield, let me no, stop. Oh, my God. How about Jordan Love? Come on, Ooh, I like that yeah. one. On, I was thinking about, like, like who it. can throw for 40 passing touchdowns this year? Mm -hmm. Jordan Love obviously can. I was thinking about weapons. Oh, they sorry. add Josh Jacobs. Jordan Love threw for 32 passing touchdowns mm -hmm. last year, and he was in his first year mm -hmm. as a full-time starter. And then I was asking myself, to win the MVP, we all saw it last year. Obviously, I'm an MVP voter. You have to have a strong end of the season. Yeah. The end of the season, Ooh. they play the Dolphins. That defense isn't great. Mm. They play the Lions. Mm. That defense isn't great. They play the Seahawks, new defensive coordinator. We'll see how that shakes out. They play the Saints. That defense is older. They play the Vikings. They don't have necessarily any stars. The new Hunter gone. Then you play the Bears. Mm. If you end up last six games of the season mm. and you put up big-time numbers and the Bears will likely be competitive, you beat the Bears, divisional rival at home, you throw for 40 passing touchdowns, Jordan Love, I think, can have a shot. He can have so, a shot. So like, I like that. So 16 really good games, but that one game is the Eagles. They're going to lose. I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, Shady, <clears throat> let's talk about the biggest game. Mm. Oh. Let's talk about the biggest game. Super Shady Bowl. won a couple Super Bowls. Mm. Chase the won Bowl. a Super Bowl. James Jones won a Super Bowl. Every person sitting around me has won a Super Bowl. So take heed to the words that they will say. Shady McCoy, who is in the Super Bowl and who wins? All right, I gotta, I gotta, oh, it's a tough one. It's not easy. Yeah, right. Andy Reid. Yeah, right. Oh, come on, man. man. What are we talking oh. about? <laughs> we gonna get the three P popping. We gonna get, he got three MVPs, yeah. and then we gonna have four Super Bowls, and you know he's chasing? Patrick Mahomes is chasing Tom Brady. Tommy, you know you're my guy. He's on your bumper. I mean. He's on your bumper. It's the Chiefs. Like, it's not even close, but, but I will say your MVP vote, I got him playing in the Super Bowl. Oh. I got him Chiefs over the Packers, exactly. four or three P. It's going to be a good game, Jordan Love. I like that MVP. It's outside the box thinking you're Andy, right. Is that a rematch of Super Bowl one? Chiefs mm. Packers. I think is they played the first uh, Super Bowl, Bowl ever. Yeah, mm. I think it's the first Super Bowl ever. James Jones. I like it. Oh man, um, I am going. Aaron Rodgers oh, and what? the New York Football Yo, my Jets. Man. Yo, wait, wait, wait. And the wait. Green Bay Packers. Who's winning? And the Who's young that? bull oh. outdoes the teacher. There's no. And the Green it's Bay Acho's Packers. fault, though. Win. It's just show. He's exactly. like, hey, 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 we had this done before the show. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. We didn't know him. What? Jets, Packers, Packers. You you know, I don't think mine is as crazy, but Shady, you might be mad at this one. Oh. Texans, Niners. D'Amico oh. Ryan, C.J. Stroud. I remember Joe Burrow, not second year, he went to the Super Bowl, beating Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying that the Texans will, but somebody will have to. I think D'Amico Ryan, C.J. Stroud, second year, like Burrow, second year, they ascend to the Super Bowl. I think the Niners ascend to the Super Bowl, and for the first time in Shanahan's <laughs> freaking ten, I'm fighting for it. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, in your mind, what gets him over, what what gets him over that top? Bowl. They're over the edge right there. Shanahan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lack of Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh. 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 So you think Mahomes So C.J. Stroud. 
Mahomes beating Mahomes. So Mahomes got got better in the championship game. They beat him when it was worse at the worst, yes. right? Mahomes won't get there. Limping, but I'm saying, but I'm saying Mahomes limping there. No team bad, right? No wide receivers. Look terrible. Can't score at past halftime against SC championship game, and you got him losing. What are we talking to about? The Texas. <laughs> now they, but hold up. Now they got better though. Miko though. If you're a dog, be a dog then? Yeah, they, they, got, they got really, really big dogs. dogs. They, they got, got really, really, dogs. They're really, really fast dogs. <laughs> All right. Oh, y'all, we're getting closer to the start of the NFL season. We got one more block for you. If y'all thought the show up until this point was good, it's about to crescendo. Who wins tonight Ooh. and why? Meet us off against Deshaun Watson. CeeDee Lamb faces off against Amari Cooper, his old team. Y'all, it's on Sunday. Dak is long-awaited seasonal day you. Cowboys lost in a wild card. Browns lost in a wild card. A whole bunch of pressure. The Cowboys' first game back, Shady, since collapsing and breaking their 15-game home winning streak, losing to James Jones' Packers in the playoffs. Player, coach, owner, manager, fan. Mm. Who's under the most pressure in the Cowboys Browns game? <laughs> Put your phones up. Put your phones up. Put your phones up. <laughs> that Prescott. Hey, look, James said it before. This brother's gonna get, if it stays in Dallas or he leaves, he's gonna get about how much money? 65. 60 a year. 60, Something like that. 60, yeah. It's gotta be Dak Prescott. When I look at just the team overall, it was all this argument and commotion about who's gonna get paid, right? It, it, Parsons, is he gonna get paid? CeeDee Lamb, is he gonna get paid? Dak Prescott, will you get paid? It's always been a question mark. And is he staying or is he going? And the owner came out and said, hey, we all in. Well, we all in, but the quarterback didn't get a contract yet. So is he fighting to stay on the team, or what were we doing here? So when you talk about pressure, it has to be Dak. Let's just talk about it for a second, their offense, okay? <clears throat> so you look at the wide receivers. Now, CeeDee Lamb, who's the best offensive player on the team, he just got back. He's a little rusty. He hand yeah, on training take camp. Some time. So it's take some time. So we need Dak to be more, I guess, precise and efficient on, on throwing the ball. Let's look at the running backs. We can all safely say that this is probably the worst running back backfield in the league, maybe. Yeah, one of the worst, at least. Yeah. Top. Yeah. 28, yeah. something like that, right? Just say one of the worst. Yeah. One, one of the worst. Yeah. So now, who's that put pressure on? Some of that's going to be on the defense. Hey, hold us down, man. Hey, hold us down. We're not scoring. Hold us down. Mm -hmm. The other part is on the mm -hmm. offense and that Prescott. I mean, you play for the most popular team in football. Sure. So if you talk about pressure, that Prescott. Shady, can I say one that I, I don't know if you have thought about? Well, well, holla at me. What's going on? I, I'm going to go with Tyler Guyton. First round pick, a left tackle of the Dallas Cowboys. Here's yeah. why. You can't have a $50,000 chain in a $5 class. You can't have a $60 million quarterback and a bad left tackle. Mm. You can't have a $35 million wide receiver and a bad left tackle. Because with a bad left tackle, that quarterback can't get that wide receiver the ball. So now that $35 million wide receiver is rendered useless. Now that $60 million quarterback is rendered useless because you got a bad left tackle. Tyler Guyton is a Cowboys rookie left tackle. Who's he going up against? None other than the defensive player of the year in Miles Garrett. Ooh. The only man not named Hassan Reddick that Miles. have four consecutive yeah. seasons with 10 plus sacks. When you talk about pressure, the Dallas Cowboys boy star in the helmet, it comes with pressure. First round pick, it comes with pressure. Now you're a first round pick, plus you got the star on your helmet, plus you're protecting a $60 million quarterback who's trying to throw the ball to a $35 million receiver. I don't know if anybody is under more pressure mm. than number 60. Of Speaking of pressure, seeking of numbers, Tyler Guyton, where mm. you at, Chase? Yeah, I got Dak and Mike McCarthy. Like, it's, it's so easy to not pick Dak, but it is Dak Prescott at the end of the year. Uh, you guys know the term lame duck? <laughs> okay, lame duck. The Dallas Cowboys, the star, has a lame duck quarterback and a lame duck head coach in Mike McCarthy. That means they don't have contracts beyond this year. Like you were talking in the pre-show meeting, man, Dak's going to get paid. Mm -hmm. Okay, regardless of what he does, because if you look at him on the field just statistically, yeah. it was great last year. It wasn't good. It was great. And then you go to Mike McCarthy. Jerry Jones said, guys, I'm not giving you a new contract. Crazy. Okay, which is crazy to me because it gives you no security beyond this year. You don't know if Mike McCarthy's going to get another chance to be a head coach. Right. And they had all those losses up front, which is, gonna, like you said, I mean, exactly to you, like literal pressure mm -hmm. by the left tackle, literal pressure by that running back room. If you're a quarterback and you don't have a run game, like – Guys are going to be playing too high shell coverage, and you're going to have to pick apart people left and right. See, Lamb's going to have to go off. I don't know if he can get in play shape right away. So it's going to be on Dak to put uh, the, the franchise on his back for this game. <laughs> You were about to lose your job. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to lose your <laughs> job. I mean, man, both listen play. here, man. All the pressure, and I hate to say it, is on Mike McCarthy. Oh, it is on Mike boy. McCarthy. That's a lot coming from you. Listen here. <laughs> Last year, you had a great team. Nine all pros. You remind you, nine all, all pros. Nine. This team is worse. 
I played with yeah. Coach McCarthy for a long time, and we did not have a good running game. But we have four or five receivers that could get busy at any point in time. When you look at the offensive side of the ball, you have Dak Prescott, you have C.D. Lamb. You could say Brandon Cooks, but he's going like this. I don't know who the number three is. They got a solid rookie tight end. It's oh, not a lot of playmakers on the offensive side of the ball, and you really can't run it on paper, at least. Mike McCarthy is going to have